Hello, in this video essay I am going to cover various artistic techniques and their suitability within a game art framework. I am going to be drawing parallels between industry standard art and my own while also showing how I utilise these techniques within my own work. To better discuss this topic, it is easier to follow what could be described as a standard artist's work process, and how they may go about constructing a well-composed and thought-out piece for a game. In my case, I will be showing artwork from my previous projects. Arguably, the base and framework for all modern game artists would be the thumbnail stage. Thumbnails are a great way to test multiple character designs at once by creating striking and interesting silhouettes, and choosing the best ones, or the ones favoured by your art director, in the case of working in a studio, to develop further into more striking pieces. For larger, more vast scenes depicting a wide open area, this technique also holds true, perhaps even more so as you are able to map out the background's depth by using various different colour shades. These initial pieces will be useful as references in the later, more developed pieces. With your framework set, you can develop your work in various ways relevant to your project. You may go on to create a digital painting and make use of layering colours to depict a character of various styles like shown here with my character Trooper Morgan. I used various skin and colour tones to create a realistic looking face and clothing. And to create his full body digital painting, I used a 3D model to which I painted over to make sure I was working with a solid foundation for realistic proportion. Another route you may want to pursue for developing your ideas may be a more traditional line art technique. Line art, however, in my opinion, being one of the hardest to make look effective, as the lines in your work, being its foundation, need to be almost immaculate in presentation to sell what you are depicting. Here is an example with a previous project wherein I created a search and rescue operative. It was in this exploration of line art I applied a cell shaded technique as per the overall style of the project by making use of hard light sources to give an otherwise two-dimensional character the illusion of depth. Another more competent example of line art I have produced would be from my recent project, to which I used various line sizes to depict both interior and exterior parts of the character, to develop into a more childlike image, not something that would go amiss in a picture book and it was thanks to the thick eye-grabbing exterior lines that this effect was achieved. And lastly, the option on which I went and developed my original thumbnails being photo bashing. The practice of using various pre-existing images to create an entirely original and transformative piece. Photo bashing is an excellent technique to use in order to gain quick and effective results to show what you are trying to get across. This could be used as a conceptual tool, or in my case, as a means to delivering a final product. This concept can be seen with Naughty Dog concept artist John Sweeney, who uses photo bashing in his work to create almost photorealistic depictions of a game's environment. In this example, being the last of us. The photo bashing element can be clearly seen on the front of the pickup truck in the centre of the image, either by creating his own texture on Photoshop from scratch, or by making creative use of a real world photograph, he has managed to create a rusting effect that envelops the front of the vehicle. The same technique can be seen on the concrete walls and almost any other objects as a means to seemingly integrate the details together. In my piece, though not nearly as technically competent due to lack of experience, I have depicted decaying underwater buildings by using a picture I took of grass in the summertime to act as a texture for moss 
to which I creatively applied to the building's various surfaces. As you may understand, I believe this technique to be incredibly useful in a game art perspective, and is certainly the technique I use with the most confidence. However, photo bashing alone does not create a good piece. Other factors are in play to make sure the image is well composed. For my various underwater scenes, I used mainly the rule of thirds and the golden ratio to compose and give a sense of scale to my works. As can be seen in this piece, where a submarine encounters a rather peculiar underwater scene, the golden ratio is at work by guiding our eyes around key features of the image, ultimately ending up in the stone face of the temple structure. The golden ratio is quite the creative tool as it allows our eyes to travel across the scene naturally based on the placement of various objects to draw our attention to important aspects, such as the rather dimly lit warship graveyard at the bottom of the image. Another framing technique I have used is the ever useful rule of thirds. This also allows you to line up important aspects of an image but in a more wider and broader scene. For example, my previous image to where the frames of the buildings follow the lines of the rule and frame the submarine ominously travelling down the open street. A good example of an industry standard use of composition can be seen in Jean Pablo Roldan's concept piece for 343's Halo Wars 2 E3 cinematic that was being developed by Blur Studios who produced all cinematics for the game. When the rule of thirds is applied you can clearly see how the image is divided into various parts that make up the whole scene, with the centre square showing us two individuals confronting one another in the centre, as well as showing both their forces in the same grid square. The upper left hand side of the centre square shows us the scale of the more physically imposing nature of the aliens, war machines and troops. In contrast to the lower right hand side of the centre square that shows us that the humans are not only smaller but seemingly at a disadvantage, this all being shown to us unconsciously by the rule. The ratio can also be applied here two ways, as when the central point of the ratio is applied to the same focal point used by the rule of thirds centre square, the curve of the ratio leads our eyes to these individuals' respective armies as shown by the unveiling line of the spiral. All this consideration results in a technically and visually impressive piece that also has a functional purpose as to be used by Blur in the development of the cinematic, as the narrative and the theme of the image has been well communicated by Juan and his composing. Thank you for watching my video essay. All relevant image sources and links to artists are provided in the description below as well as in the project PDF.